human being, you know, mm-hmm. thinking. So it's, it's really nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So we would hear more reactions from everyone, right? And then, um, now that was great, and um, that connects us to our next main point about how I'm reading number two now. Actually, it would be nice if one of you read number two as well, please. Literature through tones and style, music through harmony and melody, bring diverse and open contrasting elements and value together. Through the TM and TM CD program, experience the optimal level of harmony and unity that exists within the unified field, which we can contact during transcendental meditation. Great. Mm. And so that's wonderful, thank you. And so today we studied um, a musical piece which was originally a poem, and we also studied, um, we saw uh, from our own reactions as the audience and also from the performance, right? So how music can affect, influence our emotions, our being, right? So we're here at this level, right? Reader, audience, refinement of emotions, and extension of bliss. But we know that all of this also comes from a subtler level, immortal minds. So music and literature um, has its basis in the more subtler field of, you know, in the most subtle field of creative intelligence, pure creative intelligence, unified field, and which we are able to, luckily, <laughs> able to contact through our own TM and TM City program. And through that contact, we enliven the pure consciousness and creative intelligence within each and every one of us, and we enliven the natural law, and also then through our group practice of TM and TM City program, enlivening natural law, we enliven those um, qualities of the natural law in natural consciousness, and then um, bringing out more um, enlightened qualities of pure consciousness and intelligence, all of that to the government and, and state level. And um, of course, then um, the government can make more enlightened policies. For example, in our case, about arts, supporting arts. And also, we would have a more blissful society through, through more extension of bliss. So, um, so that's, and, and then it all connects again back to unified field. And um, now we will end today's lesson with the unity chart. Connecting the part of knowledge with the wholeness of knowledge. In the flow of music, literature, and consciousness. Music and literature purify perceptions and emotions and help our evolution on the more superficial level of our discipline understanding. And on a more deeper level, music and literature swing our awareness between contrasting elements, silence and dynamism, high and low, from more surface to deeper levels. And now from the point of um, consciousness, pure consciousness, transcendental consciousness is the total settling of the activity of the mind where one experiences total bliss, Impulses within the transcendental field, dynamism is embedded within silence, and harmony is within great diversity. And in unity consciousness, our awareness is fully tuned with bliss absolute, encompassing all boundaries, no matter how contrasting, how high or low, is an expression of our own unbounded wholeness. And this, of course, then brings fulfillment to the aspirations of music and literature. So thank you very much, and I look forward to a great course with you. <laughs> thank you all. Um, I, I love the, um, I love the, thank you, the, the exercise. 
Yeah. You got us thinking about it and kind of involved in the music as you listened to it, especially how you had us, you kind of went through what we need to pay attention to before you played it. I thought that was very effective. Um, and then the, the second piece, which was just a wonderful, uplifting piece to listen to, um, or the way it was done, um, was really nice. And um, can you send us that link? Yeah, by the way, it's a, it's a, it's a video about, it's, they are promoting a city in Spain. Oh. A small city in Catalonia. They sing in, in Catalan. Oh. And it's a promotion from the, you know, the, the Ministry of uh, oh, Tourism it's and the, the bank. And it, it's effective. It is. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's amazing. What city was that? Sabadell. From Sabadell. In the province of Barcelona. No, oh, Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, you are great. <laughs> I love the presentation. It's, I mean, the, the lesson is, I want to take this class for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. It would be nice to have you in it. <laughs> for sure. I mean, I love music and I love literature and I, making the connections. I think it's, you know, it's really you know, amazing. And, and how you present the main point, you know, like a very... I love when you say the process of giving jerks and jokes to awareness and emotion, uh -huh. a process of purification, and it's true. We never think about you know, music, the enjoyment of music or literature as a process of purification, but it is. Mm -hmm. you know, in many ways, it can be you know, like, a, like a joy. It can be painful sometimes, you know. But uh, yeah, and the way you engage us in the class, you know, from the beginning to the end, mm -hmm. with the, the first activity and then the listening and then and how uh, like uh, very naturally you took us to the to the point you, you just you were talking about music and you know like very naturally and then suddenly you say so this is the main point of the class and it's like a, wow it's yeah. true you know it wasn't like um i wasn't feeling that i was in a class you know when you had to pay attention to the professor mm -hmm. just enjoying what you were saying and then you took me to the main point and mm -hmm. then to the second main point and it was clear, you know, what you mm -hmm. were saying. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your course overview chart definitely has piqued my interest because you have Sama Veda juxtaposed with deep poets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my yeah, 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 yeah. And then Charlie uh, well, Parker, my dad. How do you make a unity out of that? Yeah. I couldn't, can't wait to see. You know, it looks really, really interesting. Well, it all comes, you're right. And, and they like it, believe it or not. I was very concerned when I had them listen to Sama Veda and we played. I taught this course. It's, it was a two-week course. Now it's a four-week course. But they <coughs> like it. You're right. I was concerned about that too. Diverse. Because yeah. it's so new to them. Mm. It's so new to them, but they enjoy it. So is this the first time you are going to teach the, 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 like, uh, the four weeks? Uh, right. Is now the first yeah. time? Wow. It was a two-week course before. Mm. So I could tell you felt really nice comfortable course. with the information. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you get your passion for it. I love it. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. They should be teaching this class also in the music department. Yeah, I think at some point I would like to introduce that idea. Uh. You know, in a you know in the future. Yeah. Maybe co-teach. Yeah, like exactly. It takes With some somebody time to develop yeah. something like that, but mm -hmm. it would be a really nice thing to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I, just a technical question. Um, I know there's classical. Romantic, impressionist music and art is it, is there that literature is there romantic classical in the same kind of way impressionist uh, literature at the same times, yes. Well, um, there are periods where they can really influence each other. Yeah. Right. I mean, what's the impressionistic list literature? I mean, impressionism. I think there's expressionist literature more than impressionism. I don't know who would maybe impressionism would be someone like. Mm -hmm. But that's more realist. I see. Yeah. So um, expressionism. I don't think I've heard impressionism as a as a um, literary period in literature. But I can't imagine that it's yeah. out of it because these eras they yeah. always yeah. right. I yeah. mean, art is always a product of its times. Right. Yeah. I mean, Enlightenment ideals produced that kind of enlightened, romantic, you know. Um, inspirational kind of work. So that's a very good question, though. Yeah. I really like your course because you uh, feel very, very smoothly and enjoyable. 
and you bring us to the musical field, like a transcendent field, you know, especially the second music you are going to listen to is so powerful, and uh, I mean, go to the maximum and make you cry, you know, it's very, very, very nice. And also the way you uh, <coughs> structure your class is not just like, you know, the class, it's like a romantic concept, it's very beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and making me feel like, oh my gosh, this class, this, this class is so easy to do, even though you cover, you know, a big range of uh, area. But for me, the first class I took this is the music, it's beautiful about the music. And I like music, but I didn't know that much, but it just made me feel, feel so, so good. Great, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions for improvement? Suggestion? Um, you did it so nicely, only sometimes when you speak, you speak with so many, so, so. <laughs> Too many words. Yeah, no, 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 each time the sentence, yeah, you start and like so, you, you use too, too many, oh. so that, that's only one thing I can see, you know, other than that. I don't really have any suggestions. Yeah. That's good, no, so yeah. now I'll yeah. have to pay attention. Oh, no. So now. <laughs> <laughs> video. Yeah. So now. I hope it's video. Really always making thing. connections, always. Yeah, I always thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I think everything very, you know, elegant, you know, it's you know, beautiful presentation. Yeah. I like the I like the variety you had that at one time close your eyes and listen. Uh, you so you had the audio visual thing going on, you had that uh, pair up, uh, do some writing activities. So that's the variety in the class. Again, for a suggestion for improvement, just to update it, it would be good to give, you know, pause time during the, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but maybe because you have to compress everything in a short time. So. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a very good point because I was feeling that um, that one point that we read in the principles that Maharishi is teaching, fundamentals, and one point was never rush being easy with the knowledge, giving the knowledge, never rush. And I was thinking, gosh, I have a lot, you know, I have to be really careful about not rushing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.